then. Well, Susie, there was a personnel director who's not particularly friendly with Howie Roseman who sent me a text this past week that basically outlined what he had done praising Roseman. And I'm going to read you the text. And the text says this. Look at all the moves he has made since Chip Kelly got fired. If you look at it, it's incredible. Trading up for Wentz, getting a one for Bradford, getting a Jai for a four, trading for Darby, bringing in Chris Long, bringing back Nick Foles, on and on. And it is because of those moves that the Philadelphia Eagles are here today. Now, Tom Donahoe, Joe Douglas, they all play a part in that. But obviously, how he's at the head of that right now, he gets a lot of the praise for this, and it has not gone unnoticed around the rest of the league. But it does go back to Jeffrey Lurie, the owner. He is an active owner. He's not, he's not a meddling owner, but he's very active. He's the one, by the way, he, he still will not apologize for hiring Chip Kelly because Chip Kelly did some good things with this organization. But he saw the time was right to move on from Chip Kelly. And having Tom Donahoe as a senior advisor take them through this transition, and then Howie hiring Joe Douglas, the vice president and player personnel. And oh, by the way, they don't have a general manager in that slot. People coming after Joe Douglas, they're fully prepared to move Joe Douglas into that GM spot if they have to. And Andy Weidel, these guys are guys that Ozzie Newsom of the Baltimore Ravens helped raise up. So just as a, uh, football is a team sport, we, we talk about Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. There's many others who participate in the success of a team. And Doug Peterson is also among that, very active. And I think when they went on that search for Carson Wentz, Jeffrey Lurie was on that trip. Everybody went on that trip, and they all came to the consensus that he was the right guy, which un unfortunately for Teddy Bridgewater, when he had that injury and Sam Bradford was available with Philadelphia, it all came together. But you know what they say? Luck is the residue of the design. Branch Rickey said it with the Brooklyn Dodgers. This team has had that, and they have been ready. And we saw the, the pictures of Lurie in a parking lot, and you say like, being engaged and really being a part of stuff. An NFL owner doesn't have to do that. We know how Philly fans are. Philly fans are going to be tough, but he goes out there, and he's in the parking lot, and he's engaging with fans, which you have to know the people of Philadelphia really oh, yeah. appreciate, too. That's a big thing. By the way, Roseman acquired 13 of Philly's 22 stars starters in today's game since he regained control. There you go. So you can see his it's strategically really all, outstanding. All over everything. So we welcome everybody who may be just joining us at the top of the hour inside U.S. Bank Stadium, home of Super Bowl 52. But